experiment is divided into two parts. One is the extraction of the antioxidants from blueberry smoothies, and the second is the determination of antioxidants. The purpose of this experiment is to determine antioxidant activity in product, and we also will test the difference of antioxidant activity in fresh blueberry product and in a blueberry supplement product. One DPPH will gain one electronic in the progress of crystal <coughs> reaction and the, DP, the DPPH reacts as an antidote to the oxidating of antioxidants. The solution of ethanol, acetic acid and water reacts as a buffer in reaction to keep the pH level stable. The first thing we did was to create an extraction solution and this consisted of acetic acid, ethanol and deionized water. This will be used to extract the antioxidants from our smoothie samples. We shook the smoothies to ensure there is an even distribution of particles. Next, we weighed approximately 10 grams of our sample. Getting a weighted measure gives us a more accurate measurement than using only a pipette to measure volume. Add 20 ml of the extraction solvent into the smoothie sample. Next, we put the sample in an ultrasonic ice bath at 40 kHz for 15 minutes and then covered it with aluminium foil. We weighed DPPH powder to ensure solution is saturated. Next, we made up the DPPH stock solution by dissolving the powder in ethanol. This was placed in a volumetric flask and uh, was made up to 100 milliliters. Next, we made up the DPPH working solution by diluting 1 ml of stock solution in 100 ml of ethanol. The solution was then mixed thoroughly in the volumetric flask. It's now ready to be used in our samples to test for antioxidant activity. After 15 minutes in the ultrasonic ice bath, the sample was filtered using a muslin cloth. This was used to remove larger particles from the sample before proceeding to use a finer filter. Next, we used the final filter to ensure smaller particles were removed out of the sample. Next, we put 2 ml of the sample into the cuvas. Then we add 2 ml of DPPH working solution into the cuvas and then put the cuvas into the spectral photometers immediately. We measured the samples at 517 nanometers at the beginning and after 60 minutes or until there was no further change in absorbance readings. <laughs> 